<laughs> okay, well, I guess in compar- I guess in comparison, yeah, that is true. But I just don't like being talked. I just feel. I just makes me just turns me off when I'm talked down to as such. I mean, I had to put my father talking down to me as such, and he starts more arguments than our flies in the garbage dump. Okay, but my father doesn't get angry easily. <sighs> like, you can't act like a child like that. He is your elder. You're trying to ask him permission. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Hmm. Yeah. Apologize. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I apologize, Matthew. I apologize for talking back to you. I just got, I got, I got carried away. Especially from being, from feeling like I was being talked down to. I mean, surely, yeah, you can understand that. I'm sure your father talked down to you even when you were about my age. And I do not mean to insult you or your father, but I just felt like it was a fair compare. I just felt like it was a good comparison there. But anyway, I apologize for yelling at you and raising my voice. Uh, I don't even know how you how you think you can call me by my name right now. Uh, I I don't no. believe a goddamn word you just said. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry, actually. Well, believe it or not, it is the whole honest truth I have been telling you this whole time. Honest. (laughs) If that's the truth, I'm I'm afraid to say you're you're pretty fucked. You're just using people from the internet as scapegoats for your problems. And you were lying when you first met Casey. That's what I've gotten about this. You, I'm, I'm, you are not good enough for my daughter. Chris, on the other hand, has my blessing. And if the internet is such a problem for you, I mean, just get rid of it. I mean, what do you have to do? Just call up, you know, whoever it is, you know, AOL, whatever it is you use. Just call them and say, I don't want the internet anymore. That's all you have to do. You don't need it for anything. Yeah, well, I got a whole bunch. Go to a library. Of, yeah, well, I have a bunch of ties on the internet, and I do. And for information, I do go to libraries. I read a lot of books. Really? What was the last book you read? The last book I read was *To Kill a Mockingbird*. High school shit. You I read that. High, you call it, Casey so I call read that in adult, high school. Casey it, read that as a freshman in high school. I call it adult drama. An adult drama. That, yeah. It was very dramatic, and I felt for the characters in that in the story, just like I feel for every character, for all the characters in the story, in the stories that I have. Read so, so what exactly did you learn from this book? I have learned that I have to be able to cope and be patient with everybody who may, with a whole lot of people that may appear to be impatient or that can be hard to put up with. Like, George had to put up with money throughout the, throughout, throughout the story. I mean, I'll tell you, that's... But that's that, of mice that. and men. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting my stories messed up. Yeah, I'm yeah, to kill a mockingbird. Yeah. yeah. Did you even read this book? Yes, I did. The dramatic story, the story about that girl who was Living, who was living with her family throughout the, the depression, and then there was that guy in that store who was nice enough to leave her gifts in the tree trunk. Or and that's, that's like, yeah, that, that was definitely a story of like, yeah, definitely learned, you know, 
be got be kind to your neighbor and they'll and they'll be good and they'll be kind to you. And that's still another that's still another that's still that doesn't another sound like the kind of that patient. doesn't sound like the American classic that uh, I know. I'm sorry. This is I this sounds like a bunch of horseshit. Do you remember you know, do you remember the, the court scene? I'm sorry, what the, the what? The court scene in the book? You know, that was that was pretty big. That was pretty it's a pretty uh major part of the book. And do you even remember who Atticus Finch was? In fact that was probably the pivotal moment of the book. Atticus. Atticus. I, I do believe that was the lawyer in that story. Yes. Man, man, you call yourself smart? You aren't smart enough for Casey. I mean, when did you when did you read this? I I read it about a month ago. A month ago. Yeah. I, you know, I think the last book Casey read was last week. And she reads books, you know, she reads books like you probably stuffed candy down your throat. <laughs> I stuff vegetables down my throat. I stuff green beans. I stuff broccoli. I stuff corn. I stuff carrots. Wow. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, I, I don't even know what the hell. I... I, eat, I eat and drink healthy. And you look like that. I, I don't, you, you don't even know what I just said, do you? I mean, you completely missed that I was, uh, you know, that little analogy back there. No, and no, Casey I, says you eat McDonald's. You say you eat healthy, but you eat a McDonald's? I have, a, I have salads over at McDonald's, and I drink the lemonade over there. The lemonade is full of sugar. You know, you, you know Chris, is, Chris, is a, Chris is fit. I mean, I've, I've seen that man. He, he has rock-hard abs. I mean, I, uh, he... That guy makes a Marine proud. And he can cook. He doesn't go to McDonald's because he, he doesn't need to. Well, I can cook, too. And sometimes I do cook. You know, he I and cook, Casey I like to go cook. running together. I mean, well, why don't you go running with Casey? You know, rather than sitting around eating fast food all day. I, I, do go out, I do go out for jogs, sir. I do go out jogging. And if Casey was here, I would be happy to go jogging with her. Or even running, I'd be happy to do that as well. You think you could do five miles like Casey and Chris do? Five miles? Yes. That's a yes, that's a brisk I, jog. Yes, I could do five miles with Casey. Really? Yes. Someone who looks like you can run five miles. I'm sorry, that's bullshit. You you look like you, you couldn't just, even do five seconds running. In fact, I was watching you. I was watching those push-ups. You got winded after like that was like thirty seconds of push-ups, and you, you were sweating like a pig. Well, wouldn't you sweat? I don't sweat. <laughs> Was that much? Warriors. Fuck, that's warriors. nothing. I'm a marine. I mean, not after a few push-ups like that. That's nothing. Okay, but but so how how much and uh, how often do you draw, jog? I mean, you know, I sweat. You know, maybe maybe after I don't know ten miles on a hot day. I have been jogging for about fifteen minutes on a daily basis. Fifteen minutes. So you go you go what a quarter of a mile and you call it quits. That's pussy shit, and that's just jogging. I mean, it, Casey could run, you know. Casey runs for, you know, at least an hour. Oh, well, that's good. I mean, and five miles is like a two-hour jog, you know. Yeah, well, I have, a, I have a whole bunch of potential. I can run five miles with Casey. I would love to see that. I mean, why, why don't you? I mean, you can't. I mean, in the way you say you say you could. I mean, this, you're just saying you have potential. You, that doesn't sell me. You can't sell me with potential.